So the first thing I did to start putting together my honeycomb trellis was to cut all the pieces um, for all of the hexagons. Everything is cut at a 30 degree angle. That's how you make a hexagon. And there are a lot of pieces to this sucker. Um, each hexagon has six pieces and then, um, well, you can see from my pile there, there's a lot of them. Once I had all the pieces cut, I went ahead and started building the hexagon shape. I just put it together using wood glue and a pin nailer. Um, it's pretty simple. You just line up all the pieces together and then go ahead and pin them together. The pins don't really do much to hold it together. The thing that's really holding your project together is the wood glue. It's super strong. So you want to make sure to be a little generous with the glue on the, um, on the edges when you're putting it together. And there's one done. And this process went on for a while. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many hexagons I made, but it's a lot. Once I had them done, I laid everything out in a pattern that I liked for what I wanted to put up on the fence. Um, after I arranged it a way that I liked, I went ahead and started putting them together. I just used wood glue and some small clamps to connect each hexagon to the one next to it. Um, I didn't have enough clamps to do the whole thing, so I just did it in stages. Um, glued a little bit, let it dry for a few hours, took the clamps off, glued the next part until I had the whole thing put together. Next, once the glue was dry, it was time to stain it. Um, I chose kind of a medium brown stain for it and I applied it with a rag. That's my favorite way to apply stain. It's super easy because you just rub it right on. Um, you just want to make sure you wear gloves so you don't get too messy. Uh, it's important to stain it because otherwise over time the wood is going to get weathered and just not look very pretty. Um, so staining it helps to protect the wood. It gives it a nice color and um, gives it a nice finish. Once I finished staining the front of it, and I, I made sure to get around all the edges on the inside and on the outside, all the way around. Once I finished, then I flipped it over and did the other side. Even though one side's gonna be against the fence, I just went ahead and stained both sides anyway, just for that added protection on the wood to make it last a bit longer. All right, then once everything was put together, the stain was dry, it was time to attach the trellises to the fence. Uh, for this, I needed a little help. I called my husband in to hold the trellis up while I um, drilled some holes to drill it into the fence. I pre-drilled all the holes and then, uh, and then screwed them into the fence. And I made sure to drill it in at each spot where it intersected with those horizontal fence support. And this went pretty quick. I just used um, outdoor um, like weatherproof screws. Um, you don't need super long ones, but I do recommend making sure to screw the trellis in to each spot that it intersects with the fence. That way that it's super strong up there and you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. And I actually made two trellises you can see so that I could put them right in the corner of my fence. I've got a cute little corner garden that these were perfect for. Um, so we put it on a fence, each fence panel right in the corner there. And we're almost done here. This project turned out so awesome and I'm so glad that I attempted it. I've actually never seen a trellis like this before and it's so amazing when those random ideas actually work out and turn into something really cool. And there it is, so pretty. 
Thanks so much for following along with this project, guys. I hope you try it for yourself. <laughs> Good job. What's back there, Mommy? Um, who needs? We should have pulled them. Yeah, we probably should. We'll go back there? Maybe.